Hey guys, just uh, end of the day here. I wanted to show you what uh, transpired today and how things are leading into the weekend. So I've got all of my sono tubes or quick tubes, whatever you want to call them. They're all in here. Uh, I broke the laser out. Uh, they are just about level. I mean, I'm at about an eighth of an inch off in some spots. Uh, one or two of them may need to get bumped a little bit, but uh, all in all, not too bad. I think it's a pretty solid, pretty solid way to kind of hold these plumb. Uh, I, I'm sure I could use some more bracing if I was in here, you know, throwing all sorts of stuff, but it's me in here going to do this. So we'll see. See what the inspector says. I think I'm going to tomorrow I'm going to come out here and run a string line down the sides of these future piers uh, just to get them kind of squared up a little better uh, than what they are now again probably quarter half inch off maybe one or two of them but all in all looking pretty good so like I was saying, all in all, kind of looking fairly good. So the bottom of these tubes now is a foot off of the bottom. So that was kind of what I wrestled with a little bit today. Uh, the best way to keep that fairly standard. Uh, because the holes are different sizes, I can't go around and say that, well, if I put seven bags or eight bags of concrete in there, it's going to fill up the hole by one foot. Uh, because they are different sizes, I'm going to need different amount of concrete. Not not much, uh, granted, but uh, so what I came up with, I made this little stool over here. So I made this little janky stool. I stand that up in the hole. That is one foot high, so that had the ability to go around the rebar and then sit down in the bottom of the hole. At that point, I set the cardboard tube on top of that table, and then I knew the bottom of the tube was one foot above the bottom. And then I worked on my uh, lateral supports and stuff for it. So all of these tubes, um, I've got about three or four inches above the rebar to the top of the pier <clears throat> that's pretty standard throughout I'm not sure if I'm I say I'm not sure I'm sure there was something dictating what that's supposed to be but I went with around about three inches or so uh, to the top of the pier so that's how they're sitting Everything's plumb right now. Like I said, I got to do some shimmying left and right a little bit uh, to get them kind of lined up. That all, it all leads into, you know, obviously in the future when I have to put my anchor pins in each one, uh, I can drop it right down in the middle of it. Uh, of course, I'm going to have a string line running along here to line them all up straight. So, yeah, so that's where we're sitting. I'll bring you guys along tomorrow when I'm out here running string a little bit just to kind of tighten things up. And then I'll probably call tomorrow and have them come out Monday maybe to see, uh, to see about an inspection. All right, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Well, guys, this is what we're ending up with here. I added some more bracing uh, to each of these piers now. The tubes are in there pretty solid. I mean, I've even bumped into them really and didn't really even knock them around too badly. So I think they will sur survive me, you know, kind of shoveling concrete into the, uh, into the footer there. So I've got all of them lined up. They're all in a row. They're all plumb. Everything is square. I pulled some more diagonals and everything. And uh, the layout is square. I mean, looking about eighth of an inch off uh, and I'm okay with that uh, as far as a small structure goes like this so this is the only one I'm somewhat concerned with 
uh, just really based on the height of it. I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what he says when he comes out and looks at it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to say about that. We'll have to see. I, I, I don't know if it's too long, if it's... I don't know. Got a lot of questions about that, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, these are in here really solid now, so... Um, I got the excavator coming tomorrow, so we'll be playing with that for a week. Uh, but I'll make a call tomorrow to get on the schedule to have the inspector come out here and see what he says. All right, guys, fun with the excavator tomorrow. Stand by.